Hello, uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, do please help raise the awareness, help me raise the awareness of emotional abuse by uh, sharing this link, uh, by rating it, whatever uh, whatever format you're watching on, uh, to help me raise awareness of emotional abuse. Um, here's a nice story, or example really, of, of self-esteem. Um, I kind of assert that anybody that is uh, a victim of emotional abuse has, has low self-esteem. Uh, so too do the abusers, um, but the victims have, have low self-esteem. They might have high confidence in whatever they do, um, but there'll be an underlying low self-esteem there. Not always easy to spot. But um, there's a nice example of, of what uh, balanced self-esteem is uh, that I came across recently. Uh, a lady uh, had been in a relationship with a gentleman for uh, a partner for four four years, I think. Uh, everything seemed good. They came to that logical point of, of getting married, uh, and then within a week, it had changed. And that is so common, isn't it? Um, oh, well, you might not know, but uh, so common. I hear that so much. Uh, within a week, changed. Suddenly became an al uh, alter ego, a different person, dis different personality, maybe a Jacqueline and Hyde person. Uh, a switch that never happened before, no element of that had been seen before, even though, in this case, she'd been living with him for four years. Uh, so she was kind of taken aback, started questioning herself, and then thought, no, this isn't me. This is not me. It's not my fault. Something's wrong here. And within six months, she'd severed it. She'd cut off, uh, broken down the marriage, and led to a, a two-year separation that, that led to a divorce. That's quite unusual um, in the stories that I get. So I thought I'd share that one. That's a really, it was like, ooh, how interesting. And the lady used in her language, setting up her own business, um, she used in her language, I will have this and I'll have it then. Um, and because I did with language quite a lot, it was like, ooh, that's really nice language. I, I don't hear, oh, nice is such a pappy word, but that's really strong language. I don't hear that that often. That's wonderful that you say, I will have this and I will have it then and then. I said, that you know, speaks of strong self-belief, strong um, self-esteem. Uh, and then when she told me about the, the marriage breaking down, it's like, ooh, she had the conviction within herself to know and to be able to weigh up that this behavior is not right, that it's not her, it's not her fault, it's not driven or derived from her, or are failing in any way. Uh, and so she made a, a decision on that basis. Um, and for me, that was like, hmm, that's really a lovely example of balanced self-esteem. When you, you might question yourself, you might question what's going on in this situation that suddenly turned itself upside down. Yet yeah, when you've done that, you go, no, it isn't me, it's them. Uh, and she acted accordingly and severed the relationship, severed the marriage. It lasted only six months. Uh, for me, that's a great example of, of you know, ooh, wow, cool. There's a story I don't hear often of balanced self-esteem, not low self-esteem. Not, oh gosh, it must be me, I need to go harder, I, I must have done something, what if I've done something, oh my god, I've done that wrong, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, silly me, silly me, I'm stupid, I'm always doing that, I'm done, none of that, really strong, not arrogant in any way, she was still a humble lady, yet she had this, this firm belief, this um, balanced self-esteem that you could just uh, feel, almost, I could kind of feel, a uh, sense in her language, in her posture, in everything she did, wonderful to... Um, to sense, to hear, to uh, engage with. Uh, so I thought I'd share that. Do you have that balanced self-esteem? Are you pretty vulnerable, pretty low in your own opinion of yourself? Uh, this lady was quite, yeah, quite sure of herself, setting up her own business, and she knew what she could do, what she couldn't do. She knew she'd stretch herself, but she knew she could believe in something that she could create, she was creating. And um, yeah, do you have that, or do you get knocked down too quickly? Do you question yourself too much? Do you take things upon your shoulders too readily that it must be your fault when actually it isn't, you know, it isn't, it's not me, it's them. So I just uh, thought that might be interesting to share. So thank you very much. Do uh, help raise the awareness uh, and, and keep your emails coming. Do give me feedback on that subject, uh, how you gauge your own self-esteem. I find it easier to, to gauge in the language of others, the language they use about themselves, their belief, their, not don't mean religious belief, but what they believe they can do or they can't do, or whether something is their fault or not. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Uh, quite a quick one, I think. Uh, many thanks. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.